So now let's discuss about two port networks. So a general network having two pairs of terminals, so we have an input and output terminals, is a very important building block in electronic systems, communication systems, automatic control systems, transmission and distribution systems, or any other systems in which an electrical signal enters a network via the input terminals and leaves via the output terminals. So a pair of terminals at which a signal may enter or leave a network is called a port. So we've discussed in electric circuit theory 1 that we can transform a circuit into a network having a single port. So we can transform that circuit using 7 in or Norton equivalent circuit. Now for figure B, we have two ports. So we have port 1, which has V1 and I1, and port 2, we have V2 and I2. So there are several parameters in which we can transform a circuit into two ports. So we have Z parameters, we have Y parameters, hybrid parameters, transmission parameters and etc. So first let's discuss about the impedance parameters. So impedance and admittance parameters are commonly used in the synthesis of filters. So they are useful in the design of impedance matching networks and power distribution networks. Now for impedance parameters, the dependent variables are the port voltages. So we have Port 1 voltage V1 and then port 2 voltage V2. V1 is equal to, since we have Z parameters, equal to Z11 I1 plus Z12 I2. Now for V2, We have Z21 I1 plus Z22 I2. So in matrix form, we have V1 and V2 just equal to the Z parameters Z11, Z12, Z21, and Z22 times the independent variables i1 and i2 to get the values of the z parameters so z11 z12 z21 and z22 yes but to solve for the values for the z parameters we need to open one port and then apply a source to the other port so for example, if we open port 2, meaning our I2 is equal to 0. Now looking at the two equations, if I2 is equal to 0, we can solve for Z11 and Z21. So Z11 is just equal to V1 over I1 when I2 is equal to 0. Now for Z21, Z21, we have V2 over I1 when I2 is equal to 0. So now if we open port 1 and then apply a voltage source or a current source to port 2, meaning our current I1 is equal to 0. So our Z12 is equal to V1 over I2 and I1 is equal to 0. And our Z22 is equal to V2 over I2 when I1 is equal to 0. Now, looking at the equation, 
So let's looking at locations one and two. We can have an equivalent circuit for our Z parameters. So if V1 is equal to Z11 I1 plus Z12 I2, this is our V1. This is our G11. Then I1. Then plus a dependent voltage source. Where the value is Z12 I2. Now for V2, this is V2, this is V22, we have I2, here is with a dependent voltage source with the value of Z21. I1. For the example, we have this circuit obtain the Z parameters of the following network. First, let's label our uh, V1, I1, and V2, I2. We have V1 and I1. We have our V2 and I2. So first, let's solve for Z11 and Z21. Z11 and Z21. Now to solve for Z11 and Z21, we need to open port 2. Or our I2 is equal to 0. Our Z11 is equivalent to V1 over I1. So we need to get this expression V1 over I1. So first, let's solve for our ZEQ here. Our ZEQ is equal to, so since I2 is 0, 4 and 2 are in series. We have 4 plus 2 in parallel with 6, then in series with 1. So this is equal to 4 ohms. Our circuit becomes 1. We have ZEQ, we have our I1 and V1. Now looking at this circuit, our ZEQ just equivalent to V1 over I1, which is our Z11. So our Z11 is just equivalent to ZEQ, which is equivalent to 4 ohms. Now for Z21. V21 just equal to V2 over I1. Now if I2 is equal to 0, so again looking at the circuit, this branch and this branch are connected in parallel. Let's say if we have current I right here. is also our current I flowing through the 2 ohm resistor. So we need to have an expression for V2 over V1. Now looking at the 2 ohm resistor, our V2 
is equal to 2 times i. So now, we can express our i in terms of i1 by using CDT. So by CDT, our i is equal to, so this is current division is equal to 6 over total impedance is 12 times i1. So our i is just equivalent to 1 half i1. So substituting this value to this equation, we have V2 just equal to 2 times 1 half I1 equal to I1. So our V2 over I1, which is our Z21, just equal to 1 ohm. Now for Z12 and Z22, we need to open port 2 or our I1 is equal to 0. Just equal to 0. So if I1 is equal to 0, V1, which is here, is just across this 6 ohm resistor. So our Z12 is equal to V1 over I2. So again, if our I1 is equal to 0, and looking at this circuit, this branch, this branch are connected in parallel. Let's say if we have current I right here, We can express this current I in terms of the current I2 using CDT. So by CDT, I is just equal to 2 over a total impedance is 12 times I2 equal to 1 over 6 I2. Now, by Ohm's law, V1 is equal to 6I. So, looking at the 6 Ohm branch, V1 is just equal to 6 times I. And I is just equal to 1, 6, I2. Or V1 is equal to I2. Or our V1 over I2, which is our Z12, equal to 1 ohm. Now, lastly, for our Z22, Z22 is equal to V2 over I2. Now to solve for Z22, need to get our ZEQ as seen in port B. So our ZEQ just equal to we have 6 series with 4 then parallel with is equal to 5 over 3 ohms. Our circuit comes this. We have I2 and our V2. This is our ZEQ. So looking at this circuit, our ZEQ just equal to V2 over I2. Which is equal to our G22. So 
power z to 2 is equal to zq has a value of 5 over 3 ohms. So our z parameters we have 4, 1, 1, and 5 over 3. 